So do you want to create those perfect swiping panoramic looking galleries for Instagram? This tutorial, we're going to talk about how you do it in Photoshop. There's actually a free action download. If you have Photoshop, download the action. You can choose whether you want a two, three or four image gallery, drop it on your image and boom, it will spit out the gallery you want. I'm going to show you exactly how to do all of that right here in this tutorial. If you enjoy Photoshop tutorials, and you want more of this, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel or if you're big on Instagram, you enjoy Instagram, make sure you follow me on Instagram at tutvid, that's T-U-T-V-I-D. Let's jump into the tutorial and get going. All right, let's get right to work here in Photoshop. Maybe you've downloaded the free action already. If you have, open up your image in Photoshop and go Window Actions. And what you're going to need to do is come over to here and hit the little hamburger menu and choose to load actions and load in the .atn file. You're gonna to need to unzip the zip file, load in that .atn file, and you're gonna have this IG Galleries by Tutvid folder appear. And in here you can choose, do you want a two, three, or four image gallery? Let's go for broke, let's go for the four image gallery. You can see I've got my image open, the idea is gonna be I wanna just display all these cameras and sort of flex a little bit. So I'll select the four image gallery, choose the play button, and you can see here the first thing that pops up is Photoshop's gonna say, look, you gotta press continue here and adjust the crop. This is required. It's going to open the free transform. So I'm gonna say, all right, continue. I get this big free transform. I'm gonna move my actions over to here so we can see what we're doing. I'm just gonna hold down alter option. I'm gonna compress this down and maybe I'll move it up like this because I wanna show off the camera equipment. Maybe I'll make it a little bit bigger. And these four windows are obviously the four images. So go ahead and hit the commit and Photoshop just like that finishes the action. And what you've got are four perfectly aligned images. You could right click over here in your layers panel, choose export as or quick export as JPEG and simply choose the folder you want to save your images in, hit the open button, boom, all the images have been exported. Here they are out in my finder. I can select one, preview it. There's one image, there's the other, there's the other, and there is the other. So these are perfect. They are the four by five ratio. So you're covering the max amount of a screen real estate when people are swiping or scrolling through their feed. So it's a very nice little action. And again, you can choose two, three, or four image galleries. So that's how you use the action. I'm gonna close the action panel. I'm gonna close the additional image that was created. I don't need to save it. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to do this sort of manually. If you wanna do this manually, we're gonna begin with a new Photoshop document. So I'm gonna go file new and typically your galleries are going to be either square or that four to five ratio. So either one to one or four to five. If you're going with a square, you would make your uh, document 1080 by 1080. If you want the slightly taller than wide, go 1080 by 1350. That's what you want. I'm going to go ahead and hit create. Now this is enough for one image. At this point, what you would do is decide how many uh, images across do I want? Let's make a three image gallery here. So what we'll do is we'll take our just blank image here and go image canvas size. And we're going to say, hey, canvas uh, width wise, we want to adjust your percentage. We want to make you three times wider. So 300% of your current width hit okay. And now we have room for three images, but we don't really know where the images go. So let's go view and choose new guy to layout. And again, we're going with three images. So let's say three, whoops, not 23, three columns, one row. And we can see now we have a temporary visual aid to show us this is gonna be image one, two, and three. Let's hit okay. Now that we have this, let's go view, make sure we turn snapping on, and I'm gonna grab my rectangle tool down here. Rectangle tool, I'm gonna to click a single time, and I'm gonna create a rectangle the size of one of these squares. Remember the original size of our document? 1080 by 1350, and I'll hit okay got this rectangle. What I'll do now is slot up to the top toolbar. I'll make sure that I'm aligning to canvas and I'm going to say align the left edge and the top edge. There we go. And now that I have that, I am going to duplicate this rectangle three times. So, or twice, excuse me, commander control J, commander control J, making three rectangles uh, in total. Now this uh, top rectangle, I'll go up and I'll align it to the far right, pop it right over there. And then this guy here, let's just align it to the center. We'll select the middle rectangle here and we can just use the move tool and drag it over and it'll click right into place. So now we sort of have the placeholder cards for each of our images. Now it's time to add our photo. Let's grab another photo of a camera here. We can drag this right into place. So we can just drag the layer and bring it over into the document, drop it. If your layer's locked, you can select all and copy it. You can unlock the layer, just copy and get it over here. And then we'll position this however we want. You can hit command or control T to bring up free transform to see how much real estate you have. Maybe I'll make this a little bit smaller. Let's begin here. So right off the bat, people can see they're looking at a Canon 5D Mark IV and then they can, if, if they decide they want to, they could swipe one way or the other to see a little bit more context of the shot. But like this would probably be the first photo they see as they scroll down the feed. So we wanna make sure that that is framed and cropped exactly how we want it to be. So maybe I wanna move it over a little bit like that. And then I'll hold down alter option. I'll just make the whole thing a little bit bigger, the whole image. There we go, something like that. I'll commit that change. Now what we're gonna do is start piecing this up. 
So we're going to command or control click the thumbnail for any one of these cards. Let's begin with the one on the bottom. Command or control click there. We still have layer one selected. We're going to hit command or control J to pop that copy up onto a new layer. Select layer one again, the full image. Command or control click for the center image and then command or control J to pop that image up onto a new layer. Select the original image. Command or control click here for the far right shape and command or control J to pop, to pop that up onto its own image. At this point, all you need to do is rename your layers. And once we have that, you can shift select them all and you can right click and choose export as or do a quick export as JPEG and you will have your perfect aligned gallery uh, just like that. It's really pretty easy, but obviously with the action that you can download for free, it's even easier and you can do your two, three, four image galleries in seconds. Well, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed it. Maybe learned a thing or two or if you just wanted the free action, that's totally fine as well. Hopefully it serves you well and uh, lasts for a very, very, very long time. So for playing around with some guides, some layers, some exporting of images and all the different stuff we've done to create this perfect swipey swipe gallery for Instagram, that's it. Get it? Got it? Good. Nathaniel Dodds in Tutvid.com. I'll catch you in the next one. And before you go, make sure you subscribe to my channel for more great tutorials every day. Also, buy my course. It helps us do what we do, and this channel is supported by viewers just like you. You can also just click the thumbnail and watch another video from this channel. See you next time, guys.